Put the gun I down. I saw you with the box. Who was in the box? Because I envy your normal life. Put the gun down, David. It seems that envy is my sin. No, oh, what's in the box? Not taking, give me the what's gun. What's in the f- box? Give me the gun. Hi everyone, welcome back to Comic Book Issues. I'm your host, The Last Angry Geek. And it's time for another one of our Loot Crate unboxings exclusive here to my YouTube channel. This time, it's the July 2015 Loot Crate with a Heroes 2 theme. Presumably there was a Heroes 1 theme at some point, but that was probably before I started back in January. They've promised us an exclusive hardcover book and an exclusive DC statue of some kind. So I'm very excited about this box. I can't wait to see what they sent me. Let's head over to the magic table and find out just what's in this box. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Magic Table. It's time to unbox Loot Crate, the Heroes 2 box. Let's see what they sent us. As always, be careful when opening the box. You can ask your parents to help you. There we go. Instantly I see Batman's in here, and this is the exclusive vinyl figure they offered us. It's a uh, Batman, the classic TV series, Q-Pop, but it's kind of a it's kind of a junior Batman. Kind of reminds me of the uh, JL8 Batman that uh, Yale Stewart draws in his webcomic. They also offer a Superman and a Catwoman. So we've got kind of a kid Batman on a little bit of a roof gargoyle thing. I don't know, uh, a protuberance that you'd see on the top of a Gotham City uh, skyscraper. That's a good shot. I have gotten a lot of boxes since I started this. You know. We've got a Star Trek air freshener in the live long and prosper. I'm sure the late Leonard Nimoy would approve. Let's see if I can drop that down a little bit. Oh, oh, it's vanilla. There you go. We've got. A Legend of Zelda armband. Wristband, I should say. And that's a Loot Crate exclusive. You know, my uh, wrists have been a little naked while doing these, so let's just... Oh, that's much better. Oh, it's a world of difference. Alright. We've also got a, another Batman item. This is a Batman multi-tool. It's keychain, bottle opener... Crosshead screwdriver and flathead screwdriver on both ends. Either end has a different screwdriver. I'm sure Bruce Wayne would approve. We'll put that over there. So, so far we've got a Batman statue. My wrist, one wrist is warm, the other wrist is still cold, and we can open beers while driving and smelling vanilla. This is the hardcover book, the exclusive hardcover book they offered. The League of Regrettable Superheroes by John Morris, the Loot Crate edition. And I've not heard of this book. That's okay. Uh, Thunder Bunny, Nature Boy, Dynamite Thor. Are these genuine heroes, or...? Oh, I guess these are. These are, like, actual pathetic superheroes that they came up for in the golden age of comics that he's collected in this book. That would be fun to read. That's kind of cool. And this is a Loot Crate exclusive cover, at least. Or at least the edition is Loot Crate exclusive. I'm not sure what exactly about it is exclusive, but, you know, we'll find out. We've got the, uh... Heroes 2 badge. And, whoa! Oh! Jeez. Live TV, eh? Uh, the Heroes 2 badge. It's a Batman badge. A lot of Batman stuff in this one. We've got a Brawlhalla White Fang Nash. Legend skin, Spear skin, Howling Hammer skin. Uh, this, is, this is a platform fighter called Brawlhalla. It's free to play and these are some uh, skins for the game. So we've got some exclusive skins for a free game. It's on Steam. There's a code on the back. I won't show you that. Sorry, kids. We've got the whoop, the Loot Crate magazine, as always. And let me give you a better idea of the picture. And there's a poster in here, one of their mini posters. Oh, it's the uh, Wonder Woman bombshell 
illustration. This is the latest DC variant covers, is the DC bombshells, you know, like uh, female heroes in pinup form. So that looks to be it. The inside of the crate has a kind of uh, city rooftop. Oh, I'm guessing you uh, you build like a little Gotham City tenement and you can put uh, baby Batman on top. Camera's a little off today. That's okay. Uh, this is uh, an okay. I was expecting a lot more from this because it's heroes and I'm such a superhero fan. Uh... Honestly, the only thing I'm really crazy about is the book, but what the heck, let's go talk about that back at the comic book wall. And there you have it. That was the July 2015 Heroes 2 Loot Crate unboxing, and I have to say, pretty disappointed. Normally, Loot Crate's great, but they do have one or two stinkers, and unfortunately, this was one of them. Maybe it's because my expectations were so high because I'm so into superheroes, but this just did not live up to them. I mean, a kid Batman statue? That's not my thing. And I can't really use air fresheners. They tend to make me sick. The smells are too strong. Uh, the keychains, I've done so many keychains from Loot Crate and other subscription boxes since doing it for 2015. Uh, this is the year of unboxings for me. I don't plan to do these again in 2016. Maybe I'll keep going with Loot Crate. We'll see. Uh, the one thing I really am excited about is that book. That looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to read, uh, covering all these lame superheroes from the Golden Age to the Modern Age. That should be fun. But everything else in there was pretty disappointing. But that's just the way it is. Sometimes you get a good box, sometimes you get a bad one. You can't really control it. Until next time, folks, this is Comic Book Issues, and I'm your host, The Last Angry Geek.